We're going to do a new design today. This is our simple witch. On my sponge, I have loaded Derivan white underneath and I've put a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue from the starter pack. I'm gonna get Sophie to close her eyes very, very softly now. And we're just going to sponge gently above the eyes. Down onto the eyelid. Very important when you are sponging on the eyelid that you, the model keeps her eyes softly closed at all times. And down the other side as well. Good girl, Sophie. Keep your eyes closed, that's the way, sweetheart. And a little bit more green here. The Derivan blends absolutely beautifully. you notice when I'm sponging that I'm repeatedly sitting on the same spot. So that blending comes together and it almost looks like airbrushing. Very still, thank you, Sophie. With the round brush loaded in black, we're now going to do the witch's cobwebs. We're using wiggly lines and just gently going on the outer edge of the sponging that we've done. <laughs> Here he still looks a little bit tickly, very, very still. Just wiggly lines, and this is going to be when we finish a little cobweb for our witch. To make it look like a cobweb, using the tip of the round brush, very still, we're going to just come in like this from the outer edge. Very still, good girl. Excellent, very good. And the same on the other side, just turn your head slightly, Sophie. Thank you, good girl. Just coming in between those lines that you've already painted. And very quickly, you can see our cobweb starting to form on our little witch. Very still, good girl. Open your eyes. In the areas here, where you've got a little bit of space, you can put just a few dots in a moment. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to do... Good girl, you're right. Now, in between on her forehead, we're going to do a big old spider. And very still. When you're working with the round brush, to get the fine lines, just work right up on the tip of the brush. Very still, good girl. In the Derivan starter pack, we've got all the primary colours that you need. Where you've got the lines blending in where the sponging is, you can put just a few little dots and they'll just help blend in the lines. Look up for me, good girl. And we're going to give the spider a couple of little eyeballs. Very still with your legs. Good girl. That's it. And I just use the dots here just to fill in in the middle here. Very still. And to make it a red back spider, we're just going to put a little line of red right in the middle of the spider there. Now at this point with your model, you can actually ask them what colour lips they've got. Because you've got the primary colours, you can put any colour you like. So you can have black or green or any colour. What do you think, Sophie? Black lips for the witch? Good idea. So using black on the lips. Keeping the model's lips closed. Very still, Sophie. And there's our gorgeous witch. Can you look at the camera and give us a big witchy smile? 